Welcome to the Brother Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. Henry Harris. It's such a delight and an honor to uh, be with you today. Today we have a special guest uh, in which I am very honored uh, to have on the show. And she's the one and only who many refer to as the queen uh, of gospel music, the honorable, the lovable Pastor Shirley Caesar. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you, Brother Henry. How are you doing? I'm doing great. That's good. <laughs> I'm doing great. Um, she released a solo single several months ago called Take Your Knee Off uh, My Neck, which addresses mm -hmm. racism, bigotry, and racial injustice in the United States. Yes. Today, she's taking the time to, um, to address that. We're going to ask her a few questions, and then we'll be done. And my first question I want to ask you, uh, Pastor Caesar, uh, what inspired you uh, to create that solo single? You know, when I think about um, I'm thinking maybe 80, some of our young boys, uh, last year alone in 2020 was killed, uh, by policemen, uh, one way or the other, they were killed. I don't know whether all of them were by police, but uh, most of them were. And, uh, I've just come to a point in my life that I know that the enemy, that Satan uh, is trying to bring about genocide with uh, the Afro-American young men. And, uh, uh, you know, if he kills the black seed, you kill out a race. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm just so grateful to the Lord that um, I was able at least to, to do my little part to let them know that you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and so um, that's why. And so uh, some years ago, when all of this killing really first started, I, I asked my musician, my minister of music, Brother Michael Mathis, uh, to write me uh, a song. He did, but it was like a ballad. I said, no, I don't need a ballad now. Yeah. We need a song that's going to go straight to the jugular vein. And it you know, did too. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're not finished with it either. It's going to be on my next CD, my whole album. Um, but I am just so sick of the devil. Um, my thing is, how would they like it if somebody had done something like that to them? True. How would they feel if you and your wife are laying in bed, sleep, and uh, somebody just comes up on your porch and start shooting and kill your children. You wouldn't like that. And so I, 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 they're going to reap this. They're going to reap this. This man that put his 
Neil George Floyd for uh, almost nine minutes. Long time. Uh, just seconds away, seconds away from nine minutes. They're going to reap that. But they mm -hmm. got to pay for it because the Bible says that you reap what you sow. Amen. And so uh, that's why that song has come out of my heart and out of uh, Brother Mike Mathis' heart. Take your knee off my neck. It's a wonderful song. And my, uh, the next question is, uh, what is your overall message that you're trying to convey uh, in, in the song that you uh, wrote, Take Your Knee Off uh, My Neck? Uh, <laughs> what, what are you trying to say to the world with that song? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to remind uh, the enemy that you can't hide. So you may as well come out of the corner uh, and stop, you know, you may as well stop trying to hide behind your badge to kill uh, young black men, um, you know, just because they have a badge, they've got the gun and uh, all of that does not give them uh, the, the, the authority. It doesn't give them the authority uh, to just shoot up and just kill people. One man and his son got in a truck and, and, and traveled uh, this young man, the black young man was running and trying to hide. Here's a young man that hadn't done anything to them, but they were just so prone to, to kill them. And let me say, years ago, uh, when I was in school, I was in uh, junior high school, uh, I was down in South Carolina, and um, they ran me with a pitchfork. They were determined to kill us. And uh, I, I began to talk to my feet. I said, feet, are you ready? You know, and uh, I ran. I got so far in front of them, and I looked back. They'd gotten tired of trying to catch me until they were changing hands. They had like a, 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 a grubbing hole that you chop uh weeds with they were determined to just wipe me out but god had so much more in store for my life mm -hmm. he would not allow that to happen so i'm grateful i am eternally grateful to the lord uh in your song you mentioned uh black lives matter which they do uh why do you think some people have downplayed or become dismissive of that because I guess they hear it so much. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Yeah. All lives matter. But when it seems like that the black lives are, are being just taken from them, hallelujah, then it's time. It's time for somebody to speak out. And I'm just glad that um, I was able to take this song and remind them that... Uh, you reap, and I can't say that too much, but they're going to pay for that. You pay, you pay, okay? Uh, and I so often say you might not get all you pay for, but you're going to pay for what you get, okay? And, and, and for what you do. And the Bible just cannot lie. Um, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that this song has driven home uh, to all of these haters, these haters that uh, hate destroys the hater. Mm -hmm. And if you don't bury your hate, your hate will bury you. Yeah. And that's it. I like that. Um, we know that racism exists. I mean, it's obvious. You see it everywhere. Uh, what do you think is the root cause of, of racism in America? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, the main thing is that the hater has got to realize that it's not the color of skin. It's not skin, it's sin. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, uh, here again, if you don't get rid of your hate, your hate will get rid of you. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'm, I'm just privileged. I'm grateful to the Lord that I can share with you, Brother Henry, about this 
because it's happening too often now. So we just, you know, hey, we got to do something about it. And my last question is, uh, why should one take pride in being black and not be ashamed of it? <laughs> well, you, you talk about in your song, you know, you know, be proud that you're, you know, that you're black. It's nothing to be ashamed of. No. That we, that we are important, you know, just as any other culture or race or nationality. Yes, yes, we are. Uh, but you see, the thing about it is that because we're such a beautiful race of people, we are like a garden. And uh, um, I noticed that the trees in my yard, they're beginning to bloom. And that's, uh, and, and I think that it's a dogwood tree, but um, they have them in different colors. And uh, uh, the black people as a race, we come like a flower garden and the devil hates that. He hates our song and uh, he hates that we're not going anywhere. We're not gonna go away. So you may as well come to know that um, devil go on and accept the fact that we are fearfully and we're wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's nothing that, that you can do about it. And uh, you know, so, I just know that it's all a trick of the enemy, but we are so special to the body of Christ. And uh, uh, Brother Henry, what, what you are doing is so special to the body of Christ. I want to encourage you to keep up the good work. But I hope that there will be many others who will do just like I'm doing. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, thank you for that encouragement. Um, Oh, bless your heart. You're doing a wonderful job, Henry. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you so much. And um, for more information about uh, Pastor Shirley Caesar, you can visit PastorShirleyCaesar.com. Uh, you can order her CDs all over the place um, on Spotify, Amazon, and uh, oh, different bless places. Your heart. And um. You're such an inspiration to me, and thank you so much for taking this opportunity to be on the show. Um, I don't take it lightly, and thank you for the encouragement. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, but, you know, I just cannot say this too much, that God is using you. You see, uh, what I do is my ministry, and what you are doing is a ministry. Thank okay? you. Okay? Uh, so just know that. Um, can I also announce that every every Sunday from 1.30 until 2.30 that I have uh, uh, one hour with Pastor Shirley Caesar. That's an amazing Facebook. program. Huh? It's an amazing program. Oh, thank you. So uh, I, I I want your followers to follow me on YouTube. Most okay? definitely. Okay. And I promise you, uh, Henry, you know, if you just continue to pray for me, you and your your viewers, um, I promise you, I won't make you ashamed. Okay, and oh, yeah. follow me on Facebook. Okay, Will yeah, you? yeah, I'll, I already do that, and uh, and most certainly, uh, as she said, uh, watch her program, uh, support her, uh, her ministry. Uh, you can um, go to Pastor Shirley Caesar. Type that in the search bar on Facebook. And uh, you can follow her that way. And Pastor, thank you so much. And I want to encourage oh, you all that's watching, uh, order that CD, Take Your Knee Off My Neck. I believe you're really oh, right. be blessed <laughs> by that. And thank you so much for this time. Thank you. And you know what? You have such a beautiful smile. Oh, thank all right? you. Okay. I love you a little bit. God love bless you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. We hope you have enjoyed today's program. We want to connect with you. Visit us at facebook.com slash the Brother Henry and You Show or visit us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Henry Harris 100. We're so grateful you tuned in today and hope you have a fantastic day.